Hello guys, you're welcome back to the channel. My name is Maxwell from Max Multimedia. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be addressing four things in this video. This is four in one video actually. So the first thing I'm going to be addressing has to do with um, one of the major challenges we we see or we go through as graphic designers. So um, sometimes you receive a picture from a client which is a very bad picture, very, just just bad, very bad and blurry picture. And as for them, they don't really know whether the picture is blur or not because most of the times when the picture is on their phone, it looks nice. But when they send it to us and we open it with our software, you realize that the picture is very blur and it's very bad to you. So I'm going to be showing you the first thing I'm going to be showing you is how to change your blurry pictures to a very sharp images. Okay, so um, let me show you this picture. Okay, so over here. If you notice you realize that this is one of the pictures I used in my previous um, tutorial you can see how blurry the image is and do you know the bad side of it it's a screenshot okay it's a screenshot so on the person's phone it will look nice but me that is coming to work with it I will just realize that now the picture is very blurry so as you can see if you're printing this thing it's going to be very bad so um, thank God there is a means to solve this thing. So the next thing I'm going to do, this is a picture actually, and I'm just going to crop this picture. You see this edit and create here. So I'm coming to click on it and then I'll click on edit here and then I'm coming to click on this uh, crop and rotate here. So I'm just coming to crop this image. Okay, I do not need to waste time taking it to Photoshop again. Just, just anyhow you want to get your picture ready your own might not be a screenshot like this one so you might not even have any need to crop so I'll just click on save as copy so I'm going to save it um, to desktop or on desktop then I'll just name it anything okay so this is it so I'm just going to close close this so here I have it on my desktop so what I'm going to do is I'm going over to my Google Chrome and then I'm just going to create a new tab here okay so I am coming over to my search bar here and I'm just going to search for a site and the name of the site is AVAID I don't know how you're going to pronounce that it's actually an AI site okay so just search for this AVAID and it's just going to bring so the first one here okay so it's an AI image of scaling auto enlarge image online this particular one so click on it and then it's going to bring you here okay so it works with you can use it to enlarge and it's it's not only with pictures it works with it works with videos as well but then I will not go to that and uh, we are dealing with pictures so over here you can you can see the magnification you can take it up to eight times okay um so i'll just come and just click on the six you can you can actually give it eight so you can click the picture and drag it here or click here and then go to where you have your picture and then so i will just i have it here on desktop so i'll just drag it over here and then just leave it here then it's going to look now it takes it takes a little a little time okay so you are just going to be patient for it till it's downloading all right guys so as you can see it's downloading okay so once your loading is done you just click on ok okay so you are coming to save it okay so if you look at it you can place your cursor here you can see the sharpness look at can you see can you see the difference now so if you look at the nose and the eye can you see how sharp it has become so you can just come and click on save here to just save it it to download it in your download folder all right so that is it the download is done so i'm just going to close this i'm sorry about all of this okay so um what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go into my download folder and then so yeah over here here is it okay so let me open it for you to see okay so this is how sharp look at it look at the face look at it. have 
reason that you can see all the details. Have you seen? Have you seen how sharp the image has become? Let me show you the before. So this over here is the before. And you see how blurry and bad this one is. And it's even small. Have you seen how small the image is? Because when you zoom all the image is very small you will see that when you zoom all it's just small but it has increased when i take it to photoshop you see how large this one has. have you seen how large how big yet you can still see the details of the face all right so what i'm going to do is i will not waste time i'll just drag this one like this to photoshop so we can start working on it okay all right so what I'm going to let me show you the size. Have you seen the size of it? 32 point something by 56 inches. So you can see almost you can see how large the image has become. So if I open the first one, the first one will not even be up to maybe 10 by by 5 inches, it will just be very small so that is one of the advantage of this one so no matter what you want to use the picture you can see how let me bring in the old one okay the normal before so have you seen have you seen the, the first picture have you seen how small it is so you can imagine let me let me just resize it So this is you can see the before and then the after. So this is before and this is after. Before and after. So you can see the difference. Okay, so what I'm going to do next from here is I'm going to give this picture. Um it's already okay. I do not need to work on it again, but I want to make the texture pop up a bit okay and i'm not going to use any plugin all right so i will just create a copy ctrl j to have a copy and then i'm going to say group this one and let me call it maybe texture okay so now what i'm going to do is i'll open the group over here now i'll off the top one and then i'll select the down one now the down one i'm going over to my filter here and then come to camera roll okay camera roll filter so if you open your camera roll filter sometimes it takes time to open this wait for it okay so once i am using 2020 version of photoshop maybe your own maybe 2018 2019 i don't know but if you open your uh, camera roll filter I will come to uh, details okay the detail here come and reduce noise okay come in I want to make the, the skin very smooth okay so once you are done with that 71 yeah I think that's that's just fine so I, I just need this to be a bit smooth so this is okay so you can see the difference all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to now on the top one so i'll go back to my folder come to my camera roll okay so i'll come to i will go to i'll close the detail and i'm going to open basic and then i want to give this one a texture okay so just increase your texture and then the clarity okay increase the clarity do not bother the, the image is getting dark but don't worry okay when we are done you will not see that it's dark okay uh, we just need to have all the features of the face pop out okay all right so do not worry okay so we are moving we are going from this to this and uh, this is amazing already look at it from here to here 
so you can see the result okay we are not using any plugin there is no pay thing there all right so the next thing i'm going to do it with the top one um come to image come to adjust and then come to black and white okay all right so the black and white you will not touch any of this thing just come and click okay and that is okay that is fine so the next thing you want to do is to come over to filter and then you want to come to other and then high pass so the high pass what we want to do is we want to extract the texture so i'll bring my radius to zero and then i'll keep increasing the radius till i can see the texture of the if you bring it too much you, the image will be back as you can see so i need we are going to extract the texture so depending on the the um the size of the picture you are working with okay so i think two points okay three is fine i'll just leave that to three and then i'll click on okay so what you are going to do after this is come to your blend options here click on it come and give it linear light okay so linear light okay so have you seen what has happened here now we have a texture so the face now has a texture as you can see it's it has this is what i want okay so you can see that now it has a but then if in case your texture is too rough for you you can come and select this layer here and then you can reduce the opacity okay so to whatever you want okay so no 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 Alright, so uh, what you just do is just um, take your time from just how you want your texture. Okay, me, I'll just leave it to this. I like this already. So I will just so from here to here, you can see like even the person when you see the picture, you'll be surprised. You'll be amazed. Ah, so look at how nice the picture has become. Okay, how sharp. You can see everything is sharp, just sharp. No plugging, no anything. I have, I have. Um, um, how do you call it? I have um, Topaz Topaz Lab and Nick Collection. Okay, but I want to show you how you can um, increase the resolution and the sharpness of any image at all. So now we are done with this first stage. So the next thing is I'm going to um, um, right click on the uh, uh, the group and then I'm come to merge it so I can turn this to an image layer. Okay, so I'll right click again then convert it to smart object. Now what I'm going to do after converting it is I'll make a copy of it like that. Now the second thing I'll be showing uh, the third thing I'll be showing you now I'll show you how you can um, um, have this texture how you can use the online sites to uh, upscale it and make it sharp and then how you can give it a texture and then the third thing is I'm going to show you how you can whiten the teeth and the eye in case the teeth is very bad and um, he's not having a bad teeth actually but in the eye the eyes are okay and then the teeth i want to whiten the teeth a bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um with the top one let me off all of this okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come down to my layer adjustment here and then i'm going to click um black and white okay so where is my black and white over here okay so over here you are not going to touch anything okay so i'll just click there and then i'll come back again to my adjustment layer this time i'm coming to give it photo filter so click on the photo filter okay so by default it will bring you this warming filter 85 here so click on this uh, warming filter 85 and come and select cooling filter 82 okay so it will give this kind of blue now you want to reduce it okay just reduce it use it down. we just want the, the teeth to have that sparkling white okay so i think 12 is fine so just click here all right so what i want to do is i am coming to power clip um i like using the word power clip 
so you can just press down your alt your alternate key and you see this arrow okay so you can just click so that it will um, clip the top filter inside the down one then select the two and then control G to group now after you have grouped it hold down press down your alternate and then click on the uh, the layer thumbnail here and then it will reverse the filter that we have placed on the image so you want to zoom the image like this and then come and select your brush tool and then you want to just reduce the size now you want to make sure that the the foreground color here is white okay so this one is black so i'll just press x on my keyboard to just uh, switch the colors so i'll open my image like this reduce the brush and then i'll start painting on the teeth okay, so just only on the teeth you will take your time and just do this So this is one of the reasons why graphic designers does not believe this um, math wash things. You see, when people, because we are we are the one that um, design these things or this math wash sellers. So graphic designers, <laughs> guys, am I communicating? Is that true? Graphic designers, we don't believe. When we see images of people whose teeth are white, we don't believe those things to be true. Is that true? Alright, so this is before and this is after. Before of the teeth and after. Okay, so before and after before and after all right so guys now i've taught you the the 13 okay so you can use the same formula if in case the the eyes are also bad we we'll use the same formula okay so with just as you brush on top of if i should select back my brush tool and begin to brush the eye you see that the eye is becoming white have you seen but the eye will be too white which i do not like so i just like the color of the eye already but if in case the picture you are working with the eye is not all that clear you can you can also make the eyes become very white you know let me just so you can see the difference all right but i think i'm i'm just okay with how the eye is looking already so i'll just undo that from the eye so i'll just leave that down now the next thing is what you are going to do is first of all you are going to select um this image here and the effect folder and then you are going to group it together control g to group it now click it and then we are going to match the group so you can use this to have um another image so this is before after before and after all right so the last thing i'm going to show you is how to use your pen tool to remove the background now so many people find it very difficult to remove their background using the pen tool so they choose to go with the quick selection tool and the uh, how do you call it now this particular tool the lasso tool and all these things no the pen tool it gives you there is this accuracy when you use the pen tool to cut now for instance if you want to use the quick selection tool and all these things because the guy is um, wearing white suit and the background is white so you find it very difficult to have an accurate cutout so but then if you're using the pen tool it will help you cut it like you can see that the the suit the coat has blended with the background so um with my pen to select it make sure that the image you have rasterized the image okay so i'll just click here with my pen tool and then click here and then drag okay so i want to adjust this side so if you want to adjust the 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 line just hold control and then you can click here and then you can just pull it back like this to just control this one all right so as you can see it's going this direction now we'll be we'll be careful this side so if i should click here okay if it is too long if this one is too long because this is where it will continue from so it will just continue from this direction so most of the time if this one here is too long 
you might want to bring it in or cut it before you continue so if you want to cut it you hold down your alternate key and then your arrow will turn like this then you can bring this one down like this okay so that is it then you can just click here and then you can drag it up like this do not always drag it too long just drag it a bit and come and hold control and then you click here and then you can just resize it this way okay so always avoid the edge do not cut it exactly at the edge okay so as you can see i i, I am trying to avoid the edge okay all right so i will just hold control and then i will click the middle here bring it here like this okay and then now i need it to continue like this but as you can see it the line is going this way and i'll be going this way so what you, you want to do if i should click here have you seen that because it's going this way so it does bend it so what i want to do is i must make sure that i bring this one this uh, line here the end of the line here the other side to this direction so hold your your alternates and then you can bring it down like this okay or if you like you can your alternate it helps you break this one without affecting this one all right so i'll just click here like this and then and then i will hold my control to adjust this one like this and then i'll just continue so what i'm going to do is i will try as much as possible to uh, make sure this tutorial does not go too long all right so always try to avoid the edge because most of the time because we work on the image it has made the edges like some kind of black okay so you might not master the pen to like i am doing it now it took me a while to also uh, come to this side okay so what you have to do is just take your time when you draw when you you create the thing and it's not okay for you you can hold control and then you try to adjust it now if you want to cut this one completely all right if you want to cut this one completely hold down your alternate and then come and click at the middle the joints and um, the one that control this one and this this joint here hold alternate click on it then it will cut this one for you then you can start afresh all right though it's going to continue from where you stop but it will not continue from that line all right so just i'm just going to so when you are cutting it just try to always zoom to see that the edge you are leaving some space okay so this one is is what might be a bit difficult for you but um there is a saying that says that uh, um how did they say this thing now i forget practice is what makes um what what there's a there's a saying practice makes a man perfect yeah. That's what I wanted to say. So you just want to take your time. This one I'll be bringing it up here. So what I'm doing here, I hold control, then I am dragging it to this side. Okay. So as you can see, it has affected this side. So I hold control again, then I will bring this one down like this. Okay. So I will just continue. Click here and then. Alright, so like I said, do not be mad at yourself if you are not getting it like I am getting it, okay? It took me to a quality time to have come to this side where I can now do it. Okay, so... I'm going to hold my out and then curve that one. Alright, so I need to be here like this. Then I will just drag like this. So I hold my control and then click here and then drag it like this. Then I will now over here. Okay, I'm trying to be careful because the shoulder here has blended with the background. So I'm just going to click here and then continue and then come over to this side like this. So here we are going to be very creative with the shoulder okay i can see a thin line here all right so, so i'm 
just going to bring this one like this. Okay, so I'll just I'll hold control and then come and click here. Then I'll just drag it up to doing this, and then I'll continue like this. Like I said, do not get mad at yourself because you are not getting it accurately like I am getting it. And then I'm just coming click here like this. And then come and click here like this. Now this is it. So after you have selected all of this, some people will choose to give it um right click it and then come to make selection and then they might want to give it some uh, feathers. But I mean I don't really like this thing. I don't like giving it feathers. So I'll just close this. Now after I am done with this, what I will do is I'll just press Ctrl and down the keyboard to um, make my selection active without giving it a feathers. Okay. So I will just after you are done, press Ctrl J on the keyboard to create a copy for you. So let me off all of this. So as you can see, this is it. We have the image. Yeah like this so what i'm going to do again is i want to remove these parts okay so make sure that this one the top one is selected then with our pen tool we are going again to just um, remove this side like this so what i did i just hold my alt sorry my alternate and then i i bring this one here like this okay so i'll just this here always try to avoid the very edge okay because sometimes the edge can and have some kind of black colors and so right so sometimes you just have to be a bit creative over here so after you are done just press ctrl and down the keyboard now this one we are not going to do ctrl j we just want to delete that part so you can press after you press um ctrl and down the keyboard just press delete and then it's going to delete this thing off for you so ctrl d to this um activate your selection and guys that is it so over here we have our image from let me on the the first one from this to this as you can see so from this and then to this this is amazing isn't it without using any plugin any paid kind of a thing so if I should give it some background let me give it a solid background you can see any background say blue any background black all these things so guys now this is how to do these four things the most important of them is how to um, change your blurry image to a very sharp resoluted image so guys i'll see you in my next video sign out